Congratulations on your purchase of Essentials of Music Theory 3.0. In this tutorial, we will walk you through the installation process for setting up EMT3. For this walkthrough, we will be showing the installation process using EMT3 network version. For those of you with student or educator versions, the installation process will be the same except for a few minor details which we will point out. Please take note of our Essentials of Music Theory Updates page at www.alfred.com slash EMT updates. It is very important to make sure you have the latest installer before installing EMT3. From this page, you can also access the most up-to-date user guide. The installation for all versions, including network, should be done from the client computer. In other words, the computer you plan to run the program from. The first thing you need to do in the network installation process is to create a mapped network drive. This step is only necessary for those with the network version. To begin, open My Computer, then from the top menu select Tools, and then Map Network Drive. From here, select an unused drive letter. Browse to the location on the server that you would like to install to. Select OK and then Finish to complete mapping the network drive. You can see here that I have already set up a folder named Alfred Software in which I will install the program. Your mapped drive will now show up in the My Computer window. The next step is to run the program installer. It is highly recommended to get the most up-to-date installer from the EMT Updates page. Remember, if you install using the updated installer, you will first need to download and install Adobe Air. I will be installing using the updated installer from the Updates page. To begin, double-click on the installer that you wish to run. This will open an application install window on your screen. When the installer asks if you are sure you want to install this application to your computer, click Install. Please take note of the installation location. The default installation location will be C colon slash program files slash Alfred Music Publishing. For educator and student installations, leave this location as is. For the network version, the location should be changed to use the mapped network drive that you set up earlier. Click on the folder icon next to the installation location and browse to your mapped network drive. You can create a new folder within your mapped drive, as I have, or you can install directly to your mapped drive location. Click OK once you are finished setting the installation location. The installation location should show the path using the mapped network drive. From here, click Continue. Please wait as the application installs. Once it does, the program will launch automatically. Once the program completes loading, it will direct you automatically to the product activation screen. If an Adobe Air Updater window pops up asking you to update, click on Update Later. This can be updated at any time after you install. On the product activation screen, enter the serial number that is included on your CD package. When finished, proceed to fill out your user data information along with your password. Under Educational Institution, you can enter the name of your school or your class name that will be using the software. Click Next. For network installs, there will be three database locations available for you to change. The curriculum, and the users and scores paths should be changed. 
and the help path should remain unchanged. To select the new path for the curriculum files, click Browse. Using your mapped network drive you set up earlier, find the location in which you installed the software. In this location, click the button Make New Folder. Name your new folder Curriculum. Click OK to set this folder as your curriculum path. To the right of the Browse button, a button will appear saying Relocate Files. Click on that button to relocate all of your lesson and curriculum files. Take note of the progress that appears in red text at the bottom of the screen. Do not click on anything until this process has completed. Once the files have finished relocating, click the Browse button to the right of the Users and Scores path. Using the mapped network drive you set up earlier, find the location in which you installed the software. This folder will now contain the curriculum folder that you just created. Again, once you are at this location, click on Make New Folder. This time, name it User Data. Then click OK to set the path. This software comes with a default of five users. If you purchased additional users, you will enter your access code into Section 6 of this product activation page. Once all of these steps are complete, click on Activate Product. You will automatically be brought to the main menu, and it should say Product Activated in red at the bottom of the screen. Once the product has activated successfully, you can click Quit to exit the program. For educator and student versions, your installation process is now complete. To finish the network version installation, each client workstation needs to be set up so that it can access EMT3 on the server. Each workstation will also need Adobe Air installed. Let's move to another client workstation to show you how this is done. To set up a client workstation, you will need to use a mapped drive using the same letter drive that you set up on the initial installation. Once this is completed, open My Computer. Your mapped network drive and then browse to the application. The application will be within the Essentials of Music Theory folder. Once you have found the application, right-click on the icon and select Create Shortcut from the drop-down menu that appears. Drag this shortcut onto the desktop of the client workstation where you are sitting. Once it is on the desktop, you should be able to click on this shortcut to run the program. Repeat the client workstation setup on all of the computers that you wish to have access to the network version of EMT3. Now you've finished successfully installing the network version of Essentials of Music Theory 3.0. Feel free to watch this video as many times as you may need, and be sure to check our updates page regularly. You can find it at www.alfred.com slash emtupdates.